the response to the crisis of orphans and vulnerable children in Nigeria has been largely community driven with the extended family providing care and support. The data also confirm that most of the relatives to the orphans show resentment, discrimination and harshness to matters regarding the sharing of the diseased parents' property. And this vulnerability status ranges from the, those who are either infected or affected by HIV and some lost their parents through accident due to our bad roads. And in these conditions, these people find it difficult to provide for themselves. They roam around the street and they call them street children. In rural areas, HIV AIDS awareness, prevention and control are still very low. Nigeria is facing an orphaning and child vulnerability crisis of potentially catastrophic proportions. We, we thought that um, the best approach to take care of these sweet children is to um, give them a sort of um, mentoring and then give them to good caregivers. So we're able to identify 30 caregivers and then hand it over to these children. However, HIV prevalence in Nigeria is relatively low at 3.1%. But because of its large population, 160 million, the number of children living or affected with HIV is one of the highest in the world, at 2.4 million. Research represents that there are 17.5 million OVC, including 7.3 million orphans, 2.39 million orphans are due to AIDS. Federal Ministry of Health reports in 2008 that 10.7% of the 69 million children are vulnerable. UNICEF in 2007 said 10% of the children are orphans, 7% in north to west to 17% in south to east, 10% in rural, 11% in urban, Benue State has the highest prevalence of orphans, 25%, followed by a fibrom, approximately 22%, while Niger has the lowest, 2.7%. According to the National Plan of Action for OVC, 39% of children 5 to 14 years old are engaged in child labor. Up to 40% of children may have been trafficked Approximately 40% of children do not attend primary school. Quoting a 2002 World Bank report, the causes of orphaning and child vulnerability are accidental deaths, 42%, conflict, 22%, deaths during child labor, 17%, HIV AIDS, 11%. Nigeria defines an orphan as a child between 0 to 17 years old who has lost one or both parents. A child is vulnerable if because of the circumstances of birth or immediate environment is prone to abuse or deprivation of basic needs, care and protection and thus disadvantaged relative to his or her parents. The package of our intervention for our care and support for orphans and vulnerable children includes educational support, psychosocial support, nutrition education, um, recreational activities. The other part of it has to do with the economic empowerment of the caregivers. Orphans and vulnerable children in particular suffer from poor health and nutrition, limited educational opportunity, developmental delays and insufficient social and emotional support. Additionally, all VC are at an increased risk for abuse and kidnapping. Jama et al. 2011. In addition, there is low investment to research to achieve current facts and data of all VC situation in the country. Government resources for all VC is mostly restricted children in government orphanage institutions, which is uncoordinated and virtually absent in most rural communities and where one existed. There is poor quality of food, administrative block neck and lack of adequate health care services 
in the home. In response to the OBC challenge, we have been positioned to provide strategic care and support to OBC in disadvantaged communities. Here is a true life story. Daniel, yes. are you hungry? Yes. Oh, yeah? I'm so finished here. I'll find something for you to eat, yeah? Yes. I bought for you. HIV remains one of the world's most significant health challenges. Any sexual intercourse to do with any woman after our marriage. Mike, you lied and you know it. No, I'm not lying. So how did you get infected?
especially in low-income countries like ours, killing more than 30 million people since its outbreak in the early 80s. Living children like us, orphans and vulnerable. Everybody living with HIV faces various kinds of discrimination at work. I've just been sacked from my job. What? Why? Because I have it. Oh my god. And the stupid manager says he doesn't want me to, to, to infect other colleagues of mine or put their lives at risk. So he let go of me. So he sacked you just like that? He sacked you just like that, baby? <sighs> Now. What am I going to do now? Okay. Where do I go from here? It's okay. It's a thing with us. It's not. It's okay. It's unfair. It's unfair. I know, but it's okay. I can't take this. Let me be here, yes. man. Stop this. It's okay. I, 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 <laughs> In the school, roads, mosque, even in the church. Mrs. Mike, we are tired of your lies. In fact, we are tired of being deceived by you and your husband. I don't understand. How do I and my husband deceive you? Can you imagine? You don't understand. You think we don't know? Hmm. That you've been lying to us all this while. Liar! You and your husband are so promiscuous. Today, the wrath of God has so visited you people. I and my husband are genuine Christian. Mm -hmm. We worship God in spirit and sincerity. We have never cheated on ourselves. And we've never dishonored God with our body. So I don't understand what you people are talking about. You don't understand. Hey. Now, let me ask you this question. Hmm. How did you and your husband got infected with HIV? HIV! Wait. Pretend that. You think we are here to joke? Give her the thing. Come and have it. Come and take it! <laughs> take it! This is your suspension letter. Oh, you will never be part of our organization anymore. Nonsense. I don't want the women to be infected by your HIV. HIV. Keep it. And Keep remain it in your husband's it house. Too far. You're taking it too far. Too far. You're not going to get infected. Let us go. Please. Stay in your own. Let us go. Look at her. She says she, she's <laughs> all this happening to us. Lord, please have mercy. Stigmatization kills faster than even the virus itself. And that was the case of my father. Hey, <laughs> Ghanem! How can you tell me that my brother slept and in the next morning Dead with foam for me around his mouth. <laughs> and kind of who killed him? Brother, why are you asking her all that question? She killed him. She killed Michael. <laughs> my Lord, please, I did not kill my husband. I never did. <laughs> Ekanem, tell us the truth so that we will not make life difficult for you. I did not kill your brother. He died out of fear. Fear of what? <laughs> of how people treated him. Die! You lie. People respected my brother because he was rich. So, what are you talking about? Talk it! <laughs> hmm? It's true, but Abu had a child. And so?
so? Don't tell me that. Who gave him? I don't know. So, you killed my brother? I did my dear. The virus killed him. He had it first. Ekanu, you are telling me lies. You gave my brother the virus. He did not have it. You are lying. You are lying to me. God will punish you. God will punish you. Listen to me. If you like crime, you will have to go to the normal rituals to prove your innocency. My mother was subjected to all manner of rituals. Wonderful organization. Okay? Are you sure they're going to pass this? They're going to transform your life. I've been a beneficiary to this great organization and I will introduce you to them. They will surely assist you, okay? Don't cry. Sure, I'm very sure. You're they're very really, sure? Yes. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you're you welcome. so much. You're welcome. Our vision in this world is to care for children and empower women. My case is just like your case. I lost my parents many years ago and I was thrown out of the house because my relatives thought I killed them. They accused me of being a witch. I was exposed to so many exploits, rape and no food. It was so hard, very hard as a girl child until I met this organization. Good day, Auntie Linda. You know, I said, how are you? Very fine, thank you. How is studies? Very fine. This is Blossom, my friend, the girl I talked to you about. I'm sure you did. Yeah. Blossom, how do you do? It's fine, Auntie. Well, as from now on, I want you to think of me as a family, because I'll make sure no one maltreats you again. Is that understood? Yes, I will introduce you to my superior. We will make sure we cater for all your needs. Thank you, Thank you You're very welcome. Grateful. You're very welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Give me this water. Give me the 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 me the 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 Who say you know what to say anything about me? No! I am not say anything about you. Why don't you give us money? No. You don't know how Come on, get inside! You don't know. Nonsense. What kind of nonsense is that? You don't have rest like... What? Eh? What, what? I am sitting here with you. Good day. Yeah. Good day. Um, my niece told me you wanted to see me. Yes. We run an NGO that caters for the plight of vulnerable children. We promote their well-being. If you don't mind, with your permission, ma, 
Bosom here and the little brother we would like to see to all their needs. So, excuse me, my dear. So, what are you telling me? Are you telling me that I don't take care of my brother's children? No, 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 no. That's not what we are actually saying. It's just an organization that takes care of people like them. Mm. Yes. And you? You want to follow them? Auntie, auntie, it's, 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 they're just trying to help. It's not like that. Just want to help. Yes. You trust these people? Auntie. You trust them? Yes. Eh? We don't trust them. Come back to the house. Okay. okay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> she's my brother's child. I was just trying to be concerned about them. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. It's okay, dear. Thank you. You're welcome, dear. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Good day, students. Good day, Good day madam. madam. Today, we have a revision class. We know your exams is just by the corner. And you must study so well and read your book so hard so that you pass your exams. Who can tell us when was the first HIV case recorded in Nigeria? Good girl, put your hands together for her. And then, um, who can tell us what does HIV mean? HIV stands for Human Immune Deficiency Virus. I thought you would not know it, so you know it. Put your hands together for him. That's so, so good. I'm so impressed. That means you are reading your books. Okay, today we are adding one person to our family. She is Blossom. Blossom, please, can you stand up? Let them guide that girl like that. You know, see that girl now, As I did so, no one carry HIV. Ha ha! You don't understand something. I know, but it's only the boy that has it. The disease. The girl does not. Hey! It's only the boy that has it. Yes! The girl does not. How you take no say now? Only the boy gets him, the girl no get him. Okay, now I will see who will help you carry water for you to wash your hands. Eh? All this way should they help you for this house? It's all the bad. You did crazy. You be yeah yeah man. All this while I decide they with person waste happy body. And I, I I don't know say for great girl there your your head no correct. Nonsense. And you're going to talk to me like that. Hey. Hmm? This is the one they like sees. Good day, students. Good day, madam. Okay. There's a test. Is that a course? An international competition. Okay? There are benefits given to us in it if you, if you write very well and pass. One, you'll be given a scholarship. Two, you'll become an ambassador to promote child rights.
Daniel. Yes. Daniel, You can begin writing on the topic, Be the Light. HIV is just like every other sickness, okay? <laughs> if you teachers are going to treat me like an animal, just like the way you treated you and see all of that. We sincerely <laughs> apologize to okay. cut this program to bring to you all this breaking news. Okay. Organizers of the Unilever essay competition. <laughs> has released the name of this year's winner and she is Miss Blossom Emmanuel from the Times Foundation High School. I made it! Auntie, I made it! Blossom. I made it! Blossom! Auntie, I made it! That's the reason why you should be fine. You should be strong. Forgive me. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'll make okay. sure I take care of you. Make sure you will be fine, okay? okay. Please, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you. We are all going to It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Please don't cry. It's okay. Thank you. 